Hey everyone, Christian from All Out Brick here, and today I am hands-on with our brand new mock model, the Director. This is Director Orson Krennic's Delta T3C class shuttle that's shown in Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. We recently had the chance to work with Cave God to build it in minifigure scale. He designed the original model, and we procured the instructions that are now available in our web store. This model is minifigure scale and comes in at 4,305 pieces, along with seven minifigures. One thing I am thrilled that we got to include in this model is the ability to have it stand both in landed mode like it is on my desk right here and as well as flight mode which is where it sits on top of a display tower and you can fold the wings down as if it were soaring through the air. It's very easy to switch from landed mode into flight mode or vice versa. The display tower is either sitting in the base or it's sitting out of the base if it's in landed mode. If you are switching it from landed mode and sticking it on top of the display tower very easy all you have to do is slide the display tower into place and then with your hand on the bottom of the shuttle you can feel where the peg from the display tower inserts into the actual bottom of the shuttle then you just slide it into place and it locks in fold the wings down and you're good to go it's incredibly easy and it's very sturdy kind of swooshable but don't worry about the swooshes it's not going to be falling anywhere when you're switching it into landed mode you do need to remove a couple pieces but what we did is built in some drawers to the base of this mock and you just put those extra pieces into that drawer and then you lock them back into the base. So if you ever wanna switch it, it's very easy to access those pieces. The reason they're removed is just that the wings can fold up at the proper angle. The extra thickness from the tiles that are on in flight mode don't allow the wings to fully fold up all the way this is the best way to alleviate that problem and best of all you don't have to worry about storing those pieces they're stored right inside the base of the mock just like all of our other mocks the instructions to the director are available for purchase in our online web store there are two different options for purchase for these plans you can either go the digital download which grants you access to the lego digital designer files the pdf instruction manual and all of the parts lists associated with this mock or you can go with the printed instruction manual. That's right, for the first time, we are offering printed instruction manuals. I am so thrilled with how they came out. It came out beautiful, the print quality is excellent and it gives you the sense of it's almost like it's a set straight from the store a ton of work went into the printed instruction manual and we are so happy with how it came out it looks incredible and makes for a great side piece to your director display option you could have the mock displayed and you could have the instructions displayed if you have the printed instruction manual that package also includes all of the lego digital designer files as well as the parts list but as a bonus we are including the printed display sticker from ultimate collector stickers for this mock this this will come alongside your printed instruction manual in the mail. Incredibly high quality print by Ultimate Collector stickers, and we are thrilled to work with them once again, just like we did with our Mach Walker Assault. If you're wondering how much is this going to set you back, well, that's why we include three different options for the parts list. The first option is to include everything in the shuttle, all of the minifigures, flight mode on top of the display tower, and this will cost you probably around $500 to $600. Of course, this could vary depending on your location or the availability of certain bricks and minifigures, but when we built it and adjusted slightly for a piece rarity, we found that it would be around $500 to $600. The parts list for landed mode only is going to exclude all of the parts from the display tower, and therefore it's going to be a little bit cheaper. I think you'll find it to be around $450 to $500 if you build it this way. This of course does include the minifigures too. Those are going to be around like $75 I found but those prices again could fluctuate and finally there's a parts list for just the shuttle only this is if you're more on a budget or you want to put it in a mock or design your own base that's completely fine and the shuttle only will cost you about $300 excluding any minifigures again the minifigures are probably only around like $75 but $300 for the parts of the shuttle that really makes it only around like 11 cents per piece when you take out all the extra parts so it's a great value equal to if not better than what a UCS set released by LEGO would be. We really worked hard to make sure that the parts list were as efficient and accurate as possible to make you have a much easier experience and a much more affordable experience with our newest mock. So feel free to check out our director mock in our online web store. And as always, stay bricking.